I'm Mega Rosie and I'm here with Stasma the Jungle Christ. Hello. How did you start off in the racing? I don't think I have started anything in the racing. I have started to do music by my own for fun. And it, it happened that it is rave music and so people asked me to play rave. I wasn't planning to do stuff in the rave scene in particular. I'm it mainly coming from the metal scene myself, okay. more than the rave scene, so I discovered the, the rave scene by playing inside it. So how long have you actually been producing now? I started like experimenting I think in 2006 Seven, but a little bit more seriously since 2008. I will say okay. the official date will be 2008. Uh, what are you using to produce? I started like with only computers and FL Studio at the time, but now I'm a massive Ableton Live user for producing and for, for, playing. for, the, for playing. Not for the technical parts of mixing and mastering, but we mostly use Reaper, uh, which is now some program everybody should get it, it's free. Okay, so um, influences for you? I would say well, Slayer, okay. <laughs> Back on Death. <laughs> Outside of metal, I would say obviously FX Twin, Venetian Snares, uh, and lots of different of stuff, really, hip hop, and jazz, and everything. Yeah. I mean, I'm just a super huge fan of music. Yeah. Right. In, uh, all the, all its kind and all the many ways you can, can go. <laughs> Um, any ideal collaborations and when you'd really like to collaborate with? Uh, we, we are actually starting to collaborate with uh, Mike the Technoist. Oh, Mike yes. the Technoist. So it's we're like the, the Technocrist? Yeah, yeah the Technocrist. Okay. And we, were, okay. we will actually be playing in Bristol I think, next month. Um, best crowd so far? Best crowd so far? I would love it. Yeah? I think, yeah. And why? Because it's it was a really like unusual to play in uh, in the Middle East. Yeah. Okay. For, for, for very yeah, different. It was Europe, so yeah. different than, than Europe, and uh, people were just like so into Breco there. Yeah, I was yeah. really surprised. They were just like, yeah, Breco, that's what we love. Cool. So it was yeah, it was yeah. excellent. All time favorite rave tune. Is it possible? Yeah. Okay. Uh, my favorite rave tune. Yeah. You can do top three if you like. No, but I will try to, to, to ah, murder you by Bombra. Okay. It's that's something Excellent. I always want to dance on it. You know, well, that's great, and you can listen to again and again. And yeah, again. yeah, no problem. Okay, it's one of the first I listened in, into this uh, in jungle. It may be one of the first jungle tune I heard. Okay. So yeah, it's still it still is a banger for me. I Wicked. always want to dance when nice I listen one. to this. Well, thanks again for taking the time out. No problem. Um, we're gonna have a wicked rave tonight, jungle syndicate. Very excited. Big up. I'm Mega Rosie and I'm here with DJ Hidden. Um, he's kindly taking the time out to do a little interview of us just before the Jungle Syndicate birthday party at the Black Swan in Eastern. So, what got you into the music scene? I've been interested in music all my life, you know, essentially, like when I was a kid, like when I was really young, I already was interested in uh, electronic music because, you know, at the time people were still pioneering and doing stuff that was, you know, unheard. I played classical guitar at the time and I tried bands at some point. I'm like, band's enough for me, and practicing an instrument is not really for me either. And I want to make music, what do, what do I do, you know? And then computers were emerging, you know. And I was like, that's what I want to do, okay. so, and that's how I started. So you've really been in sort of that game from the start of Pretty that much. stuff. So how long is that that you've been producing, really? Uh, well, my first record came out in 96. Wow, okay, so, wicked. Nice. And I've been writing music since a couple of years before that. So what are you using now to produce? It's all digital, so okay. and I use ring noise. Basically. And what BSTIs are you using? All sorts. Okay. Yeah. Currently, like friends with synths, I like Serum a lot. I like Spire, Gladiator. 
Uh, those are the ones I currently use a lot, but I also use Absent and all the native uh, instrument stuff. Okay. Um, How do you make those snares and hardcore kicks that you're known for? Uh, proper EQing. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, yeah, I mean, it's um, you basically at some point you just, I don't know, over, over time, like that's what I like about making music and composing music is that you learn a lot by just doing. But at the same time, um, yes, just experience it gives you more. And I guess you're still it. learning. Yeah, always. always. And yeah. that's what I love about yeah. it. You know? Do you master your own tracks? Yeah, I do. Oh, yep. okay. And I also I do mastering for most of the Prospect releases. Okay. And I do Motormouth and I do a whole bunch of other labels. Okay, okay. wicked. Influences. Mm, uh, well, when I you know got interested in music, it was like stuff like Art of Noise. And uh, you know the old like acid stuff and things like that. And over time, you know, you, you have artists that you find interesting. I love the Apex Twin when he started doing stuff. I'm like, this is stuff I've never heard. Yeah, right. You know, same thing with like a Square Pusher. And uh, I like what came out on the Indian tune and stuff like that. And in terms of drum and bass, um, I don't know like what the older guys were doing, uh, techniques and stuff like that. I mean, at the time, you know. I, yeah like what he did because it was hard. Where has been some of your best crowds? Best crowds? Um, well, actually, I've had some really good crowds in my home country, the Netherlands. Yeah. Like, Same. the Prospect Nights are always yeah. a lot of They're fun. They're real popular. Yeah, and I mean, people really dance. And yeah. it's usually when people dance. That's, that's what I love most, you know? Where do you see yourself in five years? I'll probably still be doing what I'm doing now yes. because I've been doing it for fucking forever. Yeah. Um, can I curse on this? Yeah, it's okay, fine. Good. Uh, <laughs> but uh, now it's like, um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I've been developing all sorts of things, you know. So and I, uh, I also do other music. You know, I, I write music for video games and stuff like okay, that. Great. That's cool. Cool. So I'll probably be doing that as well. Yeah, nice. Um, There's so many avenues within music, yeah, I guess. Like. This year I'm doing a new DJ Hidden album, next year I'm doing a new, probably next year, I'm doing a new semi Mind album, I'm starting uh, like another alias for, I don't know, I'm making music for that particular project and I don't know where it's going still, I'm like exploring myself, so it's like, I don't know exactly how to describe it, you know, but, okay. um, yeah, overall, five years, I don't know, we'll see, it's, it's, it's usually best to just have things happen. Yeah, and live for the moment. Yeah, and not have too much ideas about what you are going to end up doing. I mean, it's good to have dreams and goals. And my one of my goals, for instance, is like to make music for films. That's what I want to do. So I want to make music for films. Yeah, does anyone out there watching exactly. get in touch? All right. Well, thanks again for taking the time out to interview with me today. Um, I hope you enjoy your set. It's going to be a wicked night. Big up. So. Nice one. All right. Cheers. I'm here with IJO, I'm Mega Rosie and it's Jungle Syndicate birthday party and managed to catch him just a little bit beforehand for a few cheeky questions. So how are you today? I'm good, thank you. Good. Uh, where have you come from? Uh, today I came from Lithuania, okay. where I'm like a long, long, long time resident of the UK. Yeah. I was a long time resident of the UK. Okay. What does IJO stand for? Um, actually, I got that name probably some like 17 years ago mm -hmm. when I decided to go solo before I played in bands when I was a teenager and um, Aicho is really in Lithuania and is one of the biggest satellites of Jupiter because I wanted okay. my name to be short and to do it with stars and stuff so nice. it kind of I liked it so I, I use it. How did you get into the scene? Um, by accident maybe I don't even okay. know <laughs> I was just making music and, and just were you doing what I like and somebody heard and just kind of like it all evolved over the years. I started messing around with music since I was six years old. I mean Did you six? Yes. Okay, yes. So I started recording music when we like boys like late eighties. We had a piano at home and then okay. like big wheel for you kind of recorded so I've just done nice. that and I was just messing around. I mean I think I, it just my whole life was I was born to be to it make that. From a musical family? Yeah, not really what well, my mom was a um, music teacher when I was okay. like 
in the belly you know, All right. for a while. But I just had this thing for music, I don't know, and then I just kind of like, just, I've been making music really all my life. Yeah, I'd that's say, really cool. Yeah. So these days, you're just using hardware to produce, is that right? Um, well, I'm like mm, mixing really both digital and hardware, but I am fascinated about hardware and the sound it creates and then um, bit of software as well. But. Yeah, okay. Right now I use the old archive samplers and compressors, effects, mixing desk, that's what I like, like mixing, and then sometimes I just use software, anything really that, that I, I want at the moment. Could be Reason, could be Cubase. Okay. Depending on what I want to achieve, because I won't be able to achieve certain things using just analog, and sometimes I don't. I'm not going to be able to achieve what I want using just like software. So I'm like just okay. choosing whatever. And um, you've got a label, right? Blick Music. Yes, I do have. It's really just a side kind of thing okay. on the side when I have time and I just want to put out music by my friends. I just do it. But it's really not really that active and it isn't really big. Okay. Um, so is it just sort of digital releases? Um, I do. I've done some CDR releases and right now I do accept it. Oh, okay. In 2015. I guess that's like, again, with the hardware, you're like, it's a bit of an old school thing, isn't kinda, it? Kind of, yeah, I don't know. I just, Back I, to I the just roots, think, maybe. Yeah, I just, yeah, I just like that kind of sound and I don't really care. Influences for you? Um, Influence is probably going to be everyday life. Not necessarily music influences, although I do get inspired by certain, that, well, by music, but more of an inspiration is my life. Best crowd? Best crowd? I don't even know the <laughs> thing crowd. Have you played all over the world? I, well, I've played some places in Europe and everywhere is different but there were many times good crowds so I don't even know yeah. which one. Can you say an all time favourite or maybe three sort of favourite rave tunes? I know one, okay. like that's just probably going to be forever. Um, Apex Twins, I don't even know how to pronounce it, 54 signs of beats it's from, okay. from the drug use album. When I heard that track in 2001, that track just literally changed my life like, yeah. like that. I was like. Excellent. I had made that like all oh, the structures and stuff, so that's just, just yeah, that's just the best oh. electronic track I've ever heard ever. Wicked. Oh uh, well, yeah. Thanks again for taking the time Thank out. Thank you. Um, I hope you enjoy Jungle Syndicate. Nice one. Cheers.